how to fill an image with a pattern using Procreate. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creative B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today I'm doing a video because Naomi Quinn asked how do you actually fill an image with a pattern using Procreate and also actually using other images, not the ones that you have drawn yourself in Procreate. So this is what this video is about now procreate is only a app that is available on the ios system so either your iphone or your ipad it doesn't matter what sort of ipad you've got yes they vary with how many uh, layers you can have but i've used an ipad mini not in this particular video but i have before to do my sketches and drawings and it's a fantastic app a drawing app, a digital app, you can do all sorts of different things with it. So if you've got an iPad or an iPhone or anything like that, it's worth looking at and investigating. So this next video, as you can see, I am showing you how to actually fill a image with patterns, but the images all come from Pixabay and I'm basically following the same sort of principles as I have done in other videos where I've shown the same thing using clipping mass. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're at our iPad. Um, you can directly download your images from, say, Pixabay or Creative Fabrica or places like that on your iPad these days. So I'm using Pixabay. Um, check your licensing. It is commercial use, but you need to check whether you, you need to check that it's not anywhere else. But for this example, I'm just going to use, show you what I've done. So, I have uh, typed in elephants, I've uh, done Victor graphics, and then I changed it to black and white. Now, most of these you can use, there are workarounds. These ones here, like with the white background inside and the black outline is brilliant because they just instantly uh, fit in, clip to it. Then you can clip here, but you need to do extra bits here. Uh, this one here is a total transparency background. You can still do it, but you have to do a workaround and I'll show you how to do that. So those are all the different elephants and I've selected a few of them because I'm going to show you different patterns. And then here I've got some mandalas and all you need to do, or mandalas, I don't know how you say it. So all you need to do is choose the one that you want. Make sure you go for the biggest size, click download, tap download and then tap download again and it should go into your file whichever one you set as a default my default is download so as you can see I've got those there so then procreate is here procreate is a fantastic app so if we click here or tap on the little cross we can decide our new canvas size by default I've already got one and I've also set most of my profiles to CMYK because that is what KDP publishes prints in it. So if I tap there, select there, dimensions, you can choose pixels, inches, centimeters. I'm going to choose inches, eight and a half by 11. So eight and a half for the width, 11 for the height. I want to try and get as high DPI as possible. So 300. We've got 59 layers, so we've got a lot to work with. It's people who are illustrators and that, that may find that a bit difficult, but you can merge your layers down. And then the color profile, like I said, I selected CMYK. So I'm just going to click create or tap create, and that gives me my uh, canvas. So here's the little tools. So this works out, controls your brush size, your eraser size as well. This one here is opacity, um, and that's your undo, redo, then galleries to take you back to the dashboard. This spanner, we're going to use it a lot because this is where you insert different um, files and actions. There's all sorts of things. So we're only going to do very simple things. So I'll walk you through everything that we're doing. This is your layer section, which is where we'll insert everything. This is your brush. We will use some brushes. In fact, we'll only use one calligraphy monoline and that comes with it then that's your smudge tool. We won't be using that. We may use the eraser tool and we're going to change the background color. So if you tap on that, I'm going to select like a bluish color so that you might be able to see things a bit easier. Okay, so I've selected that. First and foremost, I'm going to insert and we'll go for the this one here because it's the easiest elephant to do of the lot. So then I'm going to Again, I can select a new 
layer or I can just go insert and it will automatically insert an image. So I'm going to go for that mandala there and it's already created a separate layer for me. Now I'm actually going to duplicate that one because I'm going to keep using it. I'm just going to put that at the bottom and I'm going to take it off from scene. Take that one off, keep those, I don't know why those went. And then I'm going to tap again onto that, I'm going to tap onto the little arrow tool and I'm just going to resize it. So, And then if I tap off that, if I bring it in, if I take it again, you can see it's actually cut it off, hence the reason I have done the duplication. Now all I need to do to do a clipping mask is click on the top layer which is our mandala or mandala and then just click clipping mask and that is what we've done there. So that looks pretty good, pretty happy with that. I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to show you the next one which is also quite simple to do. Now this is a different colour so I'm giving you different examples again. I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm going to take that one up above and actually switch it on. Again I want to resize it so the little arrow and I'm just going to do that and again just clipping mask but this time because it's grey you can't see and plus we're wanting it in white and black for our colouring book so make sure to tap on the elephant make sure that is white and then I just drag it there and it fills because everything is filled in and the background was already there so it's quite easy nice to do. Now not every image is the same so hence the reason I'm showing you all the different ones. So again I'm going to go into the little spanner I'm going to insert in fact what I should have done is gone back to layers and just switch them off and then I'm going to go insert. This time I'm going to do this one here and it's not it's actually clipping so I want to take the clipping mask off there and just drag it to the top. So sometimes these things happen. So I made it a little bit, I did make it a little bit bigger. Quite happy with that. Uh, again I'm going to duplicate this. Take that there. I think it's because that one moved on. That's it, okay. So here, if I do this and I do clipping mask, you can't see it because it is a black elephant. So all I need to do is make sure I'm on the elephant and then just drag and it does white and it should clip by making sure that you actually switch it on. So tap the little button there and again I can resize it, make it a little bit bigger. Now it's not as clear as defined as you may want so if you're not happy with how it's defined what you can do is go back onto the elephant change that color to a black go to your brush select calligraphy or model line or whatever brush you want to use that actually comes with procreate and then you could just draw around it now i'm not going to draw the whole thing it's just to show you and you would probably do it a lot neater than what I'm doing at the moment. So. And that's another thing about Procreate. It's brilliant. You can make it as big or as little as you want. Only trouble is when you go back to draw on paper, like I do on a Tuesday, because I'm in a cartoon drawing club, I try and expand the paper and it won't expand. So. so you do get rather spoiled. So anyway I'm just going to zoom back out. So you can see how that is now nicely outlined. So that's another one of our elephants that has done. So I'm going to duplicate that and then I'm going to insert this one here. Now this one is a bit different because it is totally transparent. So we can see that if we take the background off, it is a transparency. So there is a way of doing this. So what I'm going to use is this selection tool here. I'm going to use freehand. 
And what you need to do is try and get as near as possible when you're drawing. So I don't want to select the colour. Blue, select again freehand. And then I'm just going to draw as near as possible. And you can let go and then it'll restart. Because what you need to do is finish the line. You need to join back up with that little grey bubble. So I'm going to speed through this and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so now we've drawn right round it and making sure that colour fill is on here. I'm going to go here, change it to white again and then I'm just going to drag in. So that has now filled in our colour. So what I want to do now is I also want to switch that on. I'm going to again move it. I'm going to make that larger. I'm just going to take that, highlight that, Ooh, wrong one, double tap to just make that bigger, and then again tap, clipping mask, and that is inside. Now, there are bits that need tidying up, so if I tap on the elephant and I just zoom in, you can see that not everything has gone inside. So all I do is I just rub that bit out there and that should take away my mandala. So I could have either rubbed out on the mandala or just rubbed out here. And it's actually probably better to actually rub out on the mandala because you're not going to rub out any of the elephant and then you can just make all your background white. So just go here, the mandala. And obviously I'm not as neat as I could be. That's that. And then if I wanted, I could go back to the background colour and just change it to white. And as you can see, that is the clipping mask. So I hope that this has helped you get your clipping mask sorted. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bit and you will be notified about any other new videos. Also, while you're here, why not check out my other clipping mask videos to do with PowerPoint and Photopea.